last night, it was uh, what they're calling climate night for all of the terminally unfunny late night shows. Um, all of the all the late night hosts, all the Jimmies and then uh, Seth Myers, they all they all got together and uh, on their own individual shows or 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 together all all at once, they all decided to raise awareness about uh, the climate. So, just more hilarious comedy from these guys. Let's watch uh, James Corden and Seth Myers introduce this concept. Really funny stuff. Listen. James and I are joining forces along with other late night hosts for Climate Night. One night where we put aside our intense white hot rivalries <laughs> and come together to raise awareness for the vast effects the climate is having on our lives and the things we can do to help. There's a lot of misinformation out there to combat and there are initiatives in Congress we can support and countless ways that you can reduce your carbon footprint. Because this climate crisis affects the whole world, whether you're in New York, like I am, or in the UK, where James is. Uh, well, <laughs> sorry, uh, so actually, Seth, I, I'm, I'm in California. That's a California accent? <laughs> wow. No, well, no, I'm... So, no, I'm, I'm from the UK, but I, I shoot my show in California. I think that's something you should make clear in the opening credits. Who is watching this? I, I, don't, I, just, I don't believe it. I know the ratings are pretty low. I, I don't believe that any person... Who's, who is sitting down and deciding to watch Seth Meyers? Who? I want to know who. If you're watching this right now, if you're watching this, and you have made the decision in your life at any point to actually sit down and watch Seth Meyers who's never made a funny joke in his life. He's been a comedian for, I don't know, decades. Never said anything funny, not once. So I want you to explain yourself. I want, so, I, I, and I'm sincere about this. I want an explanation. Even if the ratings are low, they still allegedly have probably hundreds of thousands of people who choose to spend their night watching this kind of stuff. Was any of that funny? Was that a laugh track in the background? Were there... Was the audience at gunpoint? Nothing funny happening there. And of course, increasingly, they're not even trying to be funny because it's all about the, uh, the left-wing agenda. We also have Jimmy Kimmel, who's another guy, is never... And, and I'm not just saying this because they're a bunch of left-wing hacks, although they are. It's theoretically possible for a left-wing hack to be funny sometimes, but these people never are. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel had... Uh, Another hilarious comedy bit, bringing on climate scientists to scold all of us for, you know, not doing enough to protect the climate. Let's watch. Hello again. We're climate scientists. Real climate scientists, not actors. Five years ago, we came on Jimmy's show. We told you climate change is real. That it's undeniably caused by human activity. That it's going to be catastrophic. And that we weren't with you. Totally not with you. I thought we made that clear. But now it's five years later. The globe is hotter. Hurricanes are stronger. Droughts are worsening. Coral reefs are dying. Wildfires are raging. And floods are even floodier. So we're back with a new message. And we really hate to say this, but... We, we told, told you so. so. We told you so. We told you we'd be by climate change. And now we are, just like we said. These people really make me root for climate change at this point. Oh, climate change is going gonna, gonna to kill all of humanity. Okay, well, good then. Um, oh, man. This is comedy, ladies and gentlemen. That's, what, that, that's comedy right there. And of course, meanwhile, they're saying, well, we told you so. We... Because this is what they're doing. This is the problem they run into, these chicken littles with the climate. That They have been, before even the phrase climate change entered common parlance, because people that are as old as me, I mean, I can remember when I was in school and I heard about uh, the ozone layer, the big hole in the ozone layer, layer that, was, that was, the ozone layer was being destroyed. Um, we don't hear so much about that anymore. You know, you heard about uh, they're going to cut all the trees down. We won't have oxygen anymore. There, there was I, I could actually vividly remember a point in about third grade when I when I went home from school one day, um, 
rather distressed at the idea that pretty soon all the trees are going to be on and we're all going to suffocate. And I told that to my parents. It's one of the many times in my public school career where my parents would have to undo the brainwashing that had been, that had been done. Um, so there was that. And then there was also global warming they talked about. Before, before, before my time, there was they were worried about global cooling. And then they changed it to global warming. And the thing is, all of those claims, ozone layer, uh, killing all the trees, global warming, those are pretty specific. And they made pretty specific and dire predictions that certainly by now, in the year 2021, most of us should be dead by now and should probably have all suffocated. And, uh, but that's the problem is that it's too specific. And when you make a specific claim and a, and a very specific prediction for an end time, just as any modern religious false prophet of the end times, you know, there, there have been a, many religious cults that have predicted Harold Camping and so on. have predicted that uh, this date or that date is going to be going to be the end of the world. The, the problem with doing that, it's, it's more effective in the moment. But the problem is that, um, that you, you, you have set a standard. You've, you've put a date on the calendar. And then what happens when you get to that date and everything's fine? So now they've made it broader. And now we're talking about climate what, what was the phrase that um, that's Seth Meyers or, or the other, the chubbier guy, I forget his name, they, they used for something like, they, they, they talked about the risks of climate or the threat posed by climate, the climate itself. Now the climate itself is the problem. No, yeah, there, there's always been a climate. And I'll tell you something else. There's also always been climate change. That's what climates do by definition. That's the case anywhere on earth, at any point on earth, anywhere in the universe. If you can find a planet that has a climate, it's going to change. So they broadened it though. So now it's climate change that covers everything. And um, what do you do about the fact that they've repeatedly predicted the end times and then we get to the end time and we're still here? Uh, one thing you could do is just keep pushing the date back and they're, they're doing that a little bit. But they're also saying, oh, you see, it's, we're, we're basically in the end times. We told you so. Meanwhile, the rest of us are, are looking around and saying, I mean, I, I don't know. We all seem to be pretty, pretty okay. Yeah, there are hurricanes and there's natural disasters. We've always had those. But other than that, looking around, I mean, life seems pretty normal. We have our seasons. They come and go. Everything seems okay. But of course, if Seth Meyers or any of these people, if they really are concerned about climate change, I mean, one of the best things they can do, I mean, how much CO2, how much energy do they consume by putting on a TV show every single night? You would at least, you're not going to convince me that I need to be terrified of climate change, but you will at least convince me that maybe you take it seriously. If you were to say, in, in, you know, in reaction to climate change and to do our part and to make a real statement and to do at least what we can, to stop our impending doom, we're going to shut down our show and we're not going to do it anymore. Because all these lights that we, that, that we keep on, rolling the cameras, bringing all these people in, you know, they all have to dr they drive in here. Some of them fly in. We bring guests on and they, they, they fly, you know, burning all that jet fuel. So we're going to shut it down. We're not going to do the show anymore. That'd be a very good thing you could do for the planet on, on many levels. But at least if you were to do that, then I would believe that you take it seriously. But I don't. Because as with COVID, none of these people who are telling you to be terrified of it actually are themselves. And that ought to tell you something. Hey, listen. Hit the subscribe button. Do it right now. I demand it. And I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.